So for weeks now, both companies have been pushing information to drivers about the current state of affairs, how to stay healthy and as safe as possible. Both are also providing financial assistance for those drivers that have been affected by the illness. But in my opinion, one company has been more proactive and earnest. Much like other service industries, rideshare demand has been decimated in the last few weeks. So what are Uber and Lyft doing to help drivers? First, let's take a look at the overlap, similar things that both companies are doing. So one thing is in-app messages and websites where they inform drivers on what they should do to stay healthy and safe, uh, encouraging drivers to stay home if they're feeling sick, keep distance with passengers, and open windows during rides, etc. They're also providing free sanitizing products to drivers in certain high demand areas of the country. They have both suspended shared rides. And again, they're both providing financial assistance to those drivers that have been affected by the illness. And we'll have more on this later. They're also providing drivers with information on other ways to earn outside of rideshare. Lyft has partnered with Amazon to help drivers apply for open roles there. And Uber has a work hub in their driver app. As far as drivers that are renting vehicles, they're waiving fees for drivers affected by the illness, as well as reducing rates or allowing non-penalty returns for all drivers. And they also have direct earning opportunities besides rideshare. With Uber, you have delivery, they have Uber Eats, and with Lyft, they're offering medical supply and meal delivery. One thing that I really like that Uber has done, and I don't think Lyft has done the same, is with Uber Pro, their driver rewards program, they're protecting driver status through this current qualifying period. So drivers like myself that aren't driving right now, our status is being protected. All right, so that's the overlap, things that both companies are doing. Now let's actually talk about the next thing, which is corporate messaging. As far as the financial assistance for drivers affected by the illness, with Uber, they have been pretty transparent and have websites, blog posts, and in-app messages dedicated to their 14-day financial assistance program, and clear protocols have been outlined. Meanwhile, Lyft has stated that they will provide similar financial assistance, but really aren't making it as well known as Uber. Again, Uber has a dedicated website for drivers wanting to report COVID exposure, but with Lyft, you need to contact them via help in the driver app to initiate something. And this is kind of something that I had to figure out on my own. There's no documentation on the Lyft website telling you how you should contact them if you do get the illness. Lyft has also placed an emphasis on the CARES Act that was passed by Congress, informing drivers of what they need to know about CARES via an email they sent out. And they also have a line in their documentation basically taking partial credit for CARES. The line states the direct financial assistance drivers can receive through the CARES Act is one of the many benefits we fought for on their behalf. And Lyft is also saying that their co-founders, which are multi-millionaires, John Zimmer and Logan Green, are both contributing 100% of their salaries through the end of June to support the community during this crisis. This is a nice gesture, but again, John and Logan are multi-millionaires. Why not just do this without telling anybody about it? This seems more PR to me than anything. Lyft has also paused the onboarding of new drivers, which I can't imagine there are too many people that want to become Lyft drivers right now. And similarly, Uber is actually pausing their driver referral program, and we wrote about this recently. And lastly, as far as messaging, Uber has a message as soon as a passenger opens up the passenger app, encouraging them to stay home if they can. And Uber is also doing ads on Twitter and other places encouraging riders to just stay home. The Lyft Rider app, on the other hand, has a message that says, helping keep the community healthy. And then if you click this, you can find some additional information. So again, it definitely feels like Uber is being more proactive and earnest with their corporate messaging. But overall, both companies are being proactive with drivers. Um, with Lyft, I'd say it's a little bit more bark than bite. And with Uber, I'd say it's more substantive, especially with their 14-day assistance program, which they actually did update recently to make it cover more people, but actually pay out less, which is kind of a bummer. But still, this is more official than what Lyft has talked about. But is this about two or three weeks too late? Um, this has going to be going on for about a month and a half now. And we're, we're finally seeing some of this personal protection equipment that Uber and Lyft are promising being deployed to drivers. But what do you guys think? Uh, which company is doing more for drivers and what more could they be doing? And is this just too late? Should they have been doing this a lot earlier? Leave a comment below and let us know. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and stay healthy guys. Thanks.